नमस्ते ऑल ऑफ यू इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड डाइजेशन इन स्टमक सो आफ्टर डाइजेशन इन स्टमक फूड इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू सेमी लिक्विड और पल्पी मास दैट सेमी लिक्विड पल्पी मास इज कॉल्ड काइम ग्रीक वर्ड्स काइमोस मींस जूस सो हियर आफ्टर डाइजेशन इन स्टमक फूड इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू पल्पी मास और सेमी लिक्विड so that chyme passes from stomach to duodenum so duodenum means the first part of the small intestine here one sphincter is present so that sphincter regulate the movement of the chyme from stomach to small intestine allows the small small amount of chyme from stomach to small intestine okay so that is the function of the pyloric sphincter intestine intestine two types small intestine large intestine so intestine is present between the stomach and the anus so present between the stomach and the anus they are all coiled up to fit inside the abdomen so they are all coiled up to fit inside the abdomen okay so here intestine small intestine length is 7 meters in length are 20 to 25 feet in length okay 7 meters are 20 to 25 meters in length small intestine length okay here the small intestine is only about as big around as our middle finger so the diameter of the small intestine 1 inch or 2.5 cm okay here small intestine length is differs in various animals so herbivores they have longer small intestine here herbivores they have longer small intestine than carnivores here herbivores they are eating grass so the major proportion is carbohydrate that is cellulose so cellulose digestion is very difficult process here longer small intestine enhances that food stays longer duration food stays longer duration and cellulose to be digested completely okay food stays longer duration cellulose to be digested complete that uh, completely that is the advantage of longer small intestine in herbivores but in human beings it is 7 meters in length divided into three parts duodenum jejunum and ileum duodenum jejunum and ileum the first part of the small intestine is called duodenum it is u shaped so duodenum shape is u shaped duodenum receives secretion of liver and secretion of pancreas so duodenum receives secretion of liver and secretion of pancreas here liver is the largest gland in our body liver is the first check post in our body prevent the entry of toxins in general circulation okay first check post and the largest gland in our body liver secretion is called bile so the color of the bile is greenish yellow color so digestive enzymes are absent in bile the function of the bile makes the food alkaline so bile makes the food alkaline digestive enzymes are absent secreted by liver temporarily stored in sac like structure the sac like structure is called gall bladder temporarily stored in gall bladder pigments present in bile that pigments are called bile rubin bile virgin digestive enzymes are absent and the color is greenish yellow color greenish yellow color makes the food alkaline so the main function of the bile emulsification of fats so emulsification of fats the main function of the bile emulsification of fats here emulsification means large fat molecules large fat molecules converted into small globules 
this process is called emulsification so the by function is emulsification what is the meaning of emulsification emulsification means large fat molecules converted into small globules that is the function of the by digestive enzymes are absent but by function is the emulsification of fats large fats converted into small globules that is the that process is called emulsification next pancreas secrete secretes pancreatic juice so pancreas secretes pancreatic juice so pancreas secretes pancreatic juice pancreatic juice contains amylase trypsin and lipase pancreatic juice contains amylase trypsin and lipase so small intestine walls contain glands the small intestine wall contain glands so which secrete intestinal juice so that intestinal juice contains enzymes so intestinal juice contains enzymes so small intestine contain glands that glands secrete intestinal juice intestinal juice contains enzymes so enzymes in intestinal juice enzymes in pancreatic juice and bile complete the digestion of complex carbohydrates proteins and fats into glucose amino acids fatty acids and glycerol carbohydrates converted into glucose proteins converted into amino acids and emulsified fats converted into fatty acids and glycerol carbohydrates proteins and fats complex food materials that complex food materials are converted into glucose amino acids and fats so the complete digestion takes place 95% of the food materials are digested in a small intestine so complete digestion takes place in a small intestine another function of the small intestine so the inner surface of the small intestine has millions of finger like structures so the inner surface of inner surface of the small intestine has millions of finger like elevations that millions of finger like elevations are called villi so villi function is increase the surface area of the small intestine and absorption of digested food materials into blood so that is the function of the villi so small intestine function is two functions one is complete digestion of food materials another function is absorption of digested food materials that is the function of the small after digestion in small intestine unwanted food materials and undigested food materials enter into the large intestine so unwanted food materials or undigested food materials enter into large intestine here digestion not takes place in large intestine so digestion not takes place in large intestine here large intestine divided into three parts so large intestine divided into three parts cecum colon and rectum so large intestine divided into three parts large intestine receives undigested food from the small intestine large intestine divided into three parts cecum colon and rectum here cecum region small finger like structure is present so this small finger like structure is called appendix okay it is a vestigial organ vestigial organ means non functional organ so vestigial organ non functional organ in some people appendix is infected so appendix is infected that condition is called
appendicitis appendicitis that condition is called appendicitis why appendicitis occurs means here large intestine receives undigested food materials sometimes unfortunately that undigested food materials enter into the appendix so the undigested food materials enter into the appendix appendix is infected by bacteria so appendix is infected by bacteria so if not treated if not treated so it can rupture it leads to death so this happens this can happens 24 to 48 hours okay so the condition with the appendicitis it is generally called 24 hours pain so the only solution for appendicitis so surgical removal of appendix that that is that surgery is called appendectomy so surgical removal of appendix in adults appendix not functional but in children it is functional okay it helps in uh, immunity but in adults appendix is not functional it is a vestigial organ sometimes uh, un unfortunately undigested food enter into appendix and causes uh, appendicitis so the only solution for appendicitis is surgical removal of appendix okay so three parts are present in uh, large intestine cecum colon rectum so this is uh, ascending colon and this is a transverse colon and this is a descending colon here rectum is present the function of the rectum the function of the colon here large digestion not takes place in large intestine here large intestine function is absorb the absorb the water from the undigested food materials absorb the water from the undigested food materials so the semi liquid food material undigested food materials converted into semi solid so the semi liquid undigested food is converted into semi solid so the function of the large intestine large intestine not participating in is not participating in digestion so large intestine function is absorb the water from the undigested food materials and make the undigested food semi solid semi solid and the small undigested food passes through the large intestine and reach it to rectum here rectum temporarily stores the undigested food materials so rectum stores the undigested food materials rectum opens outside through an opening that opening is called anus so here anus is guarded by two sphincters already we discussed sphincters present in the stomach region sphincters present in urinary bladder sphincters present in anal region okay so when rectum is filled with undigested food materials so the undigested food removed from the body so undigested food is removed from the body this process is called undigested food is removed from the body this process is called undigested food is called fecus that is removal of undigested food materials is called defecation so fecus means undigested food removal of undigested food is called defecation okay so defecation it is also called ejection so it is also called ejection so the removal of undigested food materials from the body is called ejection undigested food is called fecus and that process is also called defecation so rectum opens outside through an opening that opening is called anus anus is guarded by sphincters large intestine divided into colon cecum and the rectum three parts are present appendix is a vestigial organ in our body okay so this is the process of digestion takes place in the human beings this is the process digestion starts in mouth and digestion ends in the small intestine here digestion starts after ingestion digestion starts after 
इंजेक्शन सो डाइजेशन स्टार्ट आफ्टर इंजेक्शन इंजेक्शन मीन द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग फुड इन टू द बॉडी सो आफ्टर इंजेक्शन डाइजेशन अकर्स डाइजेशन मीन लार्ज इन सॉल्यूबल लार्ज इन सॉल्यूबल फुड मॉलिक्यूल्स और फुड मेटीरियल आर ब्रेक डाउन इन टू स्मॉल सॉल्यूबल मेटीरियल दट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन आफ्टर डाइजेशन absorption 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 takes place in absorption takes place in small intestine so absorption takes place in small intestine next one is assimilation assimilation means digested food taken by body cells and used for energy releasing process so digested food taken by body cells and used for energy releasing process okay so used up for the energy releasing process that is called assimilation and last one is addition addition means just we discussed addition means removal of unwanted food materials from the body ingestion digestion absorption assimilation addition so these are the steps present in the digestion in human beings okay so disorders related to digestive system jaundice vomiting diarrhea constipation indigestion these are the disorders related to digestive system okay this is the complete structure of the digestive system and the process of digestion takes place in different parts of the digestive system okay so here after digestion that digested food taken by taken by body cells so that body cells used the digested food for releasing of energy for energy releasing process this digested food is utilized so energy is releasing from the food materials okay so the process of releasing energy from the food materials is called respiration so after digestion digested food taken by cells so the cells used this food materials to release the energy so the process of releasing energy from the food materials is called respiration okay next class i will explain respiration and breathing okay thank you